Hello everybody and welcome back to the Smash Ultimate CPU Tournament 4. Heck yes. Today we are doing the Group F matches. So let us introduce today's contenders. First up we have Juman, the pink Meta Knight. I, I almost went to the Galactonite costume, but that's not pink enough. This is pink. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have a Meta Knight. We've had some Meta Knights. Yeah. We, Meta Knight has been sort of a reoccurring character, but... Not... Not, not in these. Not in these woods. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had this color yet. So, yeah. Whatever. Uh, next up, we have Marcia, the Sun Hat Jigglypuff. Or blue. I always knew it as blue, but I don't know. Jigglypuff, Pichu, and Pikachu don't really have colors, per se. They have costumes. Uh, anyhow, uh, in the Player 3 slot, the, er, in the next uh, contenders, uh, we have Grin, the brown Mewtwo. And you know what I've done? I've completely forgot the spirits, but at this point, I might as well just give you all the spirits in a row. Because, forget it, because the last slot is actually a returning veteran, that being Sheena, the yellow Donkey Kong. He's back for more, baby. Anyhow, the spirits include, uh, for Jumon, he has regular Kyogre, uh, from Pokemon, Tails the Fox, from Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Deep Breathing, from, uh, Wii Fit, and Eddie, which, I don't know, there's several Eddies. Uh, it may be... I think it's the one from, uh, Astral Chain? But, I'm not sure. Uh, there's too many of those fuckers. Uh, Marcia's spirits include... Uh, I have to close them. Uh, Rabid Peach from Mario Plus Rabbids, and Leaf from Animal Crossing. I believe it's the Animal Crossing version, because Fire Emblem Leaf is a primary spirit, so... Uh, it would have to be Animal Crossing Leaf. Uh, Brin's, and sp Brin's spirits <laughs> include Mecha Fiora from Xenoblade, uh, Cream and Cheese from Sonic, Reaper and Reapette from Kid Icarus, and Sick Beats Doctor, which I don't know if that's from Rhythm Heaven or some other obscure-ass game like that. And finally, Sheena's spirits are uh, Mega Kangaskhan and Sparkman from Pokemon and Mega Man, respectively. So, yeah! Interesting group, huh? Let's get into these matches. <laughs> I completely botched everything. Well, seeing how Tarku Tar Tarkuna? <laughs> Tarkuna the Kirby performed. I don't expect Marcia or Juman to do very well, um, but who knows, maybe either one of them could break the Spe spherical characters are bad trope. Possibly. Also, for some reason, if I move the mic closer, the fan gets quieter? Let's test it. I don't know if this works the same. <laughs> I mean, basically, when I talk, you hear everything I say. So, like, I don't have to... Let's start the matches. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna do things the way I want to do them, bitch. Anyhow, uh, we're on Omega Balloon Fight. We've already been on this stage several times. Uh, for that, I'm gonna take a drink of my sports <laughs> because I don't care anymore. Hey, right now they're just treating blows. Uh, Bryn got an up smash and uh, grabbed the... Franklin Badge? Yeah, it's a Franklin Badge. Really going to town with these nairs. Down throw? No follow-up from Marcia. Brynn is really liking up smash. What the hell? Three superstars? And Brynn picked up two of them. I don't know if that really impacts the invincibility timer. But, I, no it doesn't. What the hell was that dash dance? Ugh. <laughs> What was that Tash shit? I've already seen that once in this tournament. That, that's starting to become a reoccurring theme, is that 
the computer will just do like an ultra dash dance for some shit. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess if this is anything that my CPU can handle, a solid black backdrop with some sparkles, it can certainly handle that. Anyway, Marcia with a forward smash into rest? What the fuck? What? Oh. What the fuck? She's still got the daybreak in her hands, and Bryn is smart enough not to jump into it. Well, that was a whiff of the date rape gun. Who? How did she hit the Yumira? What? I'm confused. I'm hella confused. I'm confused now. Alright, uh, is Bryn gonna break out Mega Mew 2Y? Yes, it is. Still fails. <laughs> I mean, it did a decent amount of damage, but not as much as I would have expected. It's Rabid Peach, man. Rabid Peach is doing all the work. And then Leaf is just kind of there. Anyhow. Uh... Forward throw? I don't know what she grabbed. Oh, it's a Deku Nut! Interesting. Wow, Bryn was just like, nah, I ain't having that shit. Uh, I'm pretty sure our move is just gonna... Yeah, I'm pretty sure if Bryn hits, like, anything right now, it's gonna kill because of the Super Mushroom. But he, it doesn't. Also, I'm gonna retro... I'm just gonna keep saying Bryn is a he, even though the name is androgynous. Or it's... It's gender fluid, because Mewtwo technically has no gender, but, you know... The voice actor they got from Mewtwo is male. So, I'm sorry, but that's just how I'm gonna... That's just how I'm gonna respond to it, okay? Shit. Anyhow, Marcia is doing a lot better than I thought she would. Mimikyu, if uh, Bryn gets caught in Mimikyu's thing, perhaps it could be a stock loss. Marcia almost got a uh, pivot forward smash. Off of that. Down throw? Marcia has a bomber. But she Z drops it. She's going after that smash ball. And takes the smash ball with her. That was the plan. That was the plan. Wow. Bryn doesn't even go for the assist trophy. He shouldn't have gone for the assist trophy. It's Starfy who sucks balls. Uh, things, things were looking good for Marcia, but how high is she in the sky? How high up is she? And the timer is just going to make it worse. Bryn's just like, bring her to me. I want to kill her. And she's just like, no, I don't want to be dead. No. Uh oh. Ah, jeez. She is not going down without some resolve. She is not. She's in this power block. Rage Blaster. Oh, it doesn't matter. I was about to say, that's Mewtwo up throw. Mewtwo up throw is stupid. So, there you go. Bryn is going to get a point on the board. Class X. Let's go to the next game. I haven't even gotten to the CSS and I'm already going to the next game, so... Yeah. Sheena is back in the saddle, baby. This is where he likes to be. Look at that smile. You just know that after being in four consecutive tournaments, this man is ready for some hijinks. He has a spirit type advantage over Jumon. I'm pretty sure Mega Kangaskhan is a stronger spirit than Kyogre. Uh, so why not? Let's go. Let's go. So, yeah. I'm still hitting record. That's good. Why am I getting all these stupid miscellaneous levels? Blah. Wrecking crew. Anyhow. uh, So far, they're about neck and neck. Up throw from Juman. No follow-up. It's a fair. 
Almost gets four thrown air. Oh god, but where? Oh no! Oh, I, for I forgot all about. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> She goes for the throw, just holds him there, and Beware is just like, Shorty again! And then Jumon dies. This fucking game. Why is Beware such stupid. Why is he so. Why is Beware stupid good? Oh god, the golden hammer. Oh no. Also, Jumon whiffed a banana gun. I didn't care. Is it squeaky? It's squeaky! Oh no! Oh shit! Never mind. I thought she, I thought Sheena was just gonna start wiping the floor with um, Juman, but no, no, no. That was a squeaky golden hammer. Anyway, the dragoon is spawning. I I didn't mention that. Maybe when you hear the yeah! sound effect, you'll you'll know that the dragoon is there. Uh, anyhow, Dwing! <laughs> so yeah. Ah, oh, that up air from Sheena. Yeah, what, whatever I was, what I was thinking for this round is absolutely gonna happen. I'm almost confident in that. But anyway, the sheriff is on the field. The sheriff is on the field. Maybe Juman cannot get three stocks. No, Juman does not get three stocks. At least that's good for his his. Psyche, when he's recovering in the hospital after getting a horrific beatdown from Sheena. Jungle Rush? Are you seeing Jungle Rush? Oh, we're not gonna see a Jungle Rush! Sheena is just gonna end it with a stomp to Meta Knight. <laughs> Juman did not see that shit coming. Holy hot damn. Anyhow, uh, yeah, we're just rapid fire. We're just in rapid fire mode now. Uh, let's get into the next game. Well, uh, so you know what I was saying about the puffballs not being able to do anything? Now one of them gets to do something because we have Juman versus Marcia now. Yeah. Uh, see, unlike, see, it seems like the placement of the two heavy hitters, um, like, that's the deciding factor. Because if it's in a position where it's, like, one's in player two and one's in player four, they basically just win for free. Uh, that's why Kichiro and Raimundo moved on for free. That's why Abdul and Rose moved on for free. They were just in those spots. But because Brynn and Sheena are in the positions that they're in, even though they're the most likely to come out of the, out of the pools... Uh, Juman and Marcia can still throw a monkey wrench into the whole equation. But, also, I'm not afraid to hit the tie button, because I didn't realize Challenge had a tie button, so that coin flip for Tarhuna and Draggy team was completely worthless. So, whenever a match doesn't matter, I'll just hit the tie button. Anyhow, let's get to the match. <laughs> I'm gonna need some sport for that. Oh, Mega Garden of Hope. Okay. I'm glad I'm not editing in music anymore. That, that kind of lifts a weight off of my soul. Anyhow, there's a hammer. Marcia grabs the hammer. If Marcia can bring the same intensity that she did with that Brynn match, then I think Juman. Oh, yeah, I, I, I knew that Marcia was going to Z-drop it. Dude, I'm so glad that the, the computers are actually teaching me quite a lot. First, um, down throw Nair, uh, crack shoot for Terry, and that, and then Z dropping hammers. Yeah, if you're in a free for all match with items and you've got a hammer in your hands, don't be afraid to Z drop that shit. Because you can do it. You can Z drop a hammer. And you won't die. It's a good way to fuck with your friends. Anyway, if, uh, Juman has a piece of the date rape gun. Seems like, um, Marcia is a good luck charm when it comes to the date rape gun. <laughs> oh my god, if that was off ledge, Juman would have been absolutely ultra mega fucked. That would have been a stock had Marcia not teched it. God! These two are actually going at it pretty hard. Even despite being- Okay? Juman gets a kill with teleport? 
teleport slash, and then Marcia immediately follows up with rest. Good God. Anyway, Juman has two pieces of the, of the date rape gun. The X-Bomb does nothing. But Marcia still has one piece of the date rape. So, she's not entirely... She's not entirely in a hopeless scenario yet. She does have a lot of damage, but I mean, that can be fixed with like a Maxim Tomato or something. <laughs> Marcia is giving Juman the burn treatment. Bre uh, Juman, once again, whiffs a banana gun. Anyway, Marcia summons Scissor. Scissor can do quite a lot of quick damage. And also that barrel just doesn't exist anymore. Oh, Marcia gets a free assist. What is it? It's Akira! Okay, Juman's down a stock thanks to Scissor. And, and, and she assembles the entire date rate. Oh my god. It, I was about to say, it, Akira and the date rape gun don't really mix. Because, I mean, I don't think... Well, I don't know. Yeah, Akira did a little more harm than good. But, I mean, we did see some sh some shoulder checks and a, and a twin kicks. So, I mean, at least Akira did something. Anyway, Juman gets the smash ball. Can he connect it? No, he cannot. <laughs> That's the one where you have to be precise. Marcia's, you don't have to be precise at all. <laughs> she can just do it whenever she feels like it. Anyway, Anima's favorite Pokemon is on the stage, as well as a Super Scope and a Party Ball. All around Swirlix. Swirlix and Slurpuff are the GOAT. Don't at me. Anyhow, uh... I was about to say, is Marcia about to gun down Jumon with that Super Scope? No, she just goes straight for a Healing Orb, which I mean... Seeing that there's a billion bombs on the stage now, I think that was a good decision. Oh, uh, Juman gets that fairy bottle, though. But Marcia says no. She just says no. Another bomb. The... <laughs> just raw minute rest. Oh my god. Even if she doesn't get out of pools, Marcia still gets an achievement for just... Maybe she'll pull a Lin and just be like, fuck it. <laughs> just be that fuck it character. <laughs> oh my god! Wow, that's a turnaround. Uh, yeah, if she can just survive... If she can manage to get a win over Sheena, then she might go into pools with Bryn. Possibly. I don't know. We gotta see the next... The outcome of the next match. This match is the important one. This is the big one. Uh, this basically decides uh, which one of these uh, characters goes into brackets. I mean, Juman could possibly uh, throw a monkey wrench into the equation, and um, try, like there could be a tiebreaker. Um, but I mean, because. Yeah, if Bryn wins here, I don't know. I, I shouldn't try to make any predictions, but there's a possibility of a tiebreaker, although I don't think it's very likely. Let's just play this match out. Let's just let's just do it. Let's just get it done. Uh, we are on Battlefield Form Port Town Arrow Dive. Finally, a stage that doesn't fucking make me sigh with boredom. Uh, anyhow, uh... Bryn is starting out strong. Back throw from Sheena. Mimikyu is on the field once again. Up smash. Bryn can just not get away from Mimikyu's. Unless that wasn't Bryn the first time. Uh-oh, Gus Bellows. Those are, those are bad news bears. Because whenever you see Gus Bellows, they're a warning sign. Uh, Alolan Executor is on the field. Hello there, Alex. How are you doing? Sheena re-grabbed the Gus Bellows. And he's trying to pull, blow away those, uh, the Dragoon part. Anyway, the Gus Bellows ran out. Uh, I don't know if Bryn grabbed something? No? He didn't? Was it the Dragoon part? I don't know anymore. Uh, they seem to be neck and neck, though. Oh, and Bryn snags the stock with a, uh, up smash. Although Sheena is not going to allow Bryn to summon the Dragoon just yet, because he gets a clutch up air. 
Oh, and then just seals the deal with an F smash. So the Dragoon is still very much a variable factor in this. It's not just a gimme for one of the characters. Parried up smash from Shino into another up smash! Into another up smash! And he tries to go for another one! The greedy bastard! He gets the smash ball with that home run bat. He doesn't even try to hit the home run bat legit. Uh, Bryn has a staff in his hands. Why didn't she? What the hell is Shino doing? He's just he's just going berserk. That's what's happening. That's what happens when you go nuts. Bryn gets a parry to down smash. But Sheena finally gets his act together and does something intelligent, which is summon Dragoon. However, Bryn just says no and teleports out of the way? My god. Oh god, Sheena takes a bunch of damage unnecessarily, but just, just to get more damage on Bryn. Oh god, that up till almost killed. The X-Bomb is not going to do anything. Like, I think X-Bombs are a good item in concept, but in practicality, they rarely hit. <laughs> wow, Br Sheena just teched Bryn's confusion. He didn't give a shit. Oh god. Togedemaru! It's just a back air from Sheena. Okay, so Sheena does have a lead right now. However, if Bryn just gets some... I don't know. Meloetta is also on the field. Oh, if Bryn didn't tech that, that might have been game. Another Pokemon, it's Lunala, it's Moonbat. Oh, that was a bomb of some kind. And there it is. There it is. I believe Sheena secured himself a place in brackets. Which, I mean, of course he would. He's Sheena. <laughs> Wow, Bryn is going to have to fight pretty hard in order to keep this position. Because, I mean, um, yeah, I mean, really, yeah, we have to let both of these matches ride. Because, um, because if Marcia takes a game against Sheena, she's in brackets. Yeah, it, it basically, we have to do the Juman match to see if, um, Bryn and Marcia have to go for a tiebreaker. Or actually, that would be a three-way tiebreaker between Bryn, Marcia, and Sheena because they would all have two points. So both of these matches do have to be played. Okay, fair enough. So Sheena is not... He's not in the clear yet. He's not in the clear yet. Let's see what happens. I'm glad OBS doesn't have a pause limit because if they did, that would suck. Anyhow, if Marcia wins this, she could force a tiebreaker. If she can manage to get a win against Sheena, I don't think it's as likely because um, Juman had pretty low power overall. Like, they were in similar, similar power ranges. And then Bryn just completely overpowered her. And then Sheena has a type advantage over Marcia. But then again, she's just been pulling nasty shit out of nowhere. So, who knows? Uh, she could force a tiebreaker onto Sheena. Um, and even then, um, if uh, even if she doesn't win and Juman wins the next match, she, that could force a three-way tiebreaker. Anyway, we're on Battlefield from uh, Gerudo Valley, and like I thought would happen, uh, Marcia is getting completely fucked. But not a zero to death but not a zero to death. Anyway, Mimic again! Oh wow, that could be that could be real helpful for Marcia. Oh, she tries to do the same thing twice, but fails. Yeah, she tried to do the same thing to Bren, I'm pretty sure, but it backfired. What are with these raw rests? What is with this shit? I did, what? What the hell? Oh, wow. Sheena just barely prevented Marcia from activating her final smash. Because, I mean, considering how Jigglypuff's final smash works, she would have just gone for it instantly. So, yeah. Because it's more of an AoE final smash. Anyway, we have Lipstick versus Ramblin' Evil Mushroom. Um, 
I'm betting on the lipstick only because it's in Shino's hands. Uh, but yeah, unless Marcia can pull some good luck out of her. Was that a Maxim tomato? I think that was a Maxim tomato. She gets some curry. I don't know how well that'll stop a lot of Shinon's more, like, ranged normals, but I mean, in terms of getting super up close... Ooh. Wow, Shinon takes his own stock to set up that, uh, launch star. Which I don't even think is gonna be necessary. Yeah, all that did was just remove the three stock. Anyway, there's a bunch of bombs on the field. Again. I don't know why this is a thing. <laughs> the Unira was just like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing this anymore. Wow, Marcia whiffs a rest and then Scissor gets summoned. Anyway, there's also a Galaga. Things aren't looking too good for Marcia. Especially if you can't match out of this in time. She can't. Sheena is gonna be going to brackets. This man cannot be stopped. He cannot be stopped under any circumstances. Just once you uncage Sheena, he just goes in. For fuck's sake. Uh, anyway, if Juman can manage to scrape out a win in the next set, in the next match, then we gotta do a tiebreaker. But if Bryn pulls out, then Sheena and Bryn will be going to brackets. So, let's find out what happens. We are at the final match of the video. Will Juman force a three-way tiebreaker? Or... Will Bryn join Sheena in the brackets? Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Uh, anyway, we're going to Omega Wiley Castle. Okay. Anyway, uh, Juman getting some good chip damage. Uh, there's a black hole on the field. I don't know, Juman is coming out swinging. <laughs> this jab loop in the black hole, in the fourth smash, in the down here, in the nair! What is this combo? What is that shit? Oh my god, dude. I'm so glad um, items have been banned forever. Because, oh my god, would that be cheap as hell. Just to have someone as Meta Knight just flail the sword everywhere in a black hole. Juman has almost a whole stock lead over Bryn. We might have that tiebreaker. That tiebreaker may actually happen. Bryn might just crumble under the pressure. I don't know. But he is getting some good damage right here, and he uh, is getting the Dragoon parts. But Juman has a killing edge in his hands. Ford air? The Ford throw is going to allow Bryn to get the final smash. And I believe that's going to be a stock. Yes, it is. Okay. Fair. Fair. Oh, down throw to up tilt to up smash? That's a combo. And Bryn is going to assemble the whole Dragoon. Yeah, they, okay. Wait, I think we can just say right now that Juman's done. There's no way he can come back from this. <laughs> There's absolutely no way. I mean, he can force Bryn to detonate his glass box. That'd be dumb. But Bryn could kill himself. Wow, Juman barely escapes getting blown up by the blast box by teleporting. He is just wailing on Bryn, but then blows himself up with a capsule. Down throw fair. Side special. Okay, the Nair. Alright, Pitfall. Juman sets the Pitfall down. Down throw. Or, that was up throw. Alolan Volpix is on the field. And also, uh, down special. Wow, what was that, what was that mind game shit? You know what, Juman? Juman is... 
He's not entirely, uh, um, like, he's not entirely back in it yet, but I mean, if he can just persevere long enough. Bryn has a metal box. I didn't mention that. That's, yeah, that's gonna be another finals match, probably the death. Yep, that's game. Dang, no tiebreaker, again. Dang, I want to do one of these tiebreakers because I have a good idea for them. But, nope. Uh, simply put, Brynn and Sheen are going to be moving on to brackets. It's exactly how I thought it would go. Uh, props to, J to Juman and Marcia, though. They did put up a good fight. Uh, it's not like one of the other characters who just disintegrated. You know, they, they did try. They, they sure as hell tried, but... Yeah, the other two were just too much. So, anyway... Stay tuned for Group G. We can add Bryn and Shima to the brackets, along with not Microsoft Edge, that can fuck off. Uh, Ki Raimundo the Lucas, Kichiro the Sephiroth, Lin the Piranha Plant, Riley the Byleth, uh, Pontos the Bowser, Kiana the Rosalina, Zara the Dark Pit, Malachi the Kazuya, Rose the Lucina, and Abdul the Terry. So, there you have it. We're, we're, we're quickly getting through these uh, pools, and, you know, we just getting started. So, anyway, I've been Reaper Vegas, and I'll see you all next time.